All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Harakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And this is just another news update through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh So without further ado, let's get straight into it. From RT.com, and it reads, The healthcare system isn't interested in anything other than COVID, not even lung cancer. A new report has shown how people with lung cancer may have been mi misdiagnosed as coronavirus sufferers, which is already contributing to avoidable deaths. The obsession with COVID-19 is beginning to take its toll. The UK's deadliest cancer, which kills around 35,300 people annually, may be, for, may be in for a record-breaking year. And it is all thanks to lockdowns. As we know all the well, all too well, when it comes to cancer, early intervention is everything. With lung cancer, a delay of just 40 days to a surgery can cause a 16% increase in more mortality, and three months can be the difference between a treatment and a death sentence. Now, a report by the UK Lung Cancer Coalition has lifted the lid on a scandal bubbling in the NH NHS. That's the... Uh, uh, I forget what that's called. Continuing on, says coalition has lifted a lid on a scandal bubbling in the NHS. The appalling toll that the appall the appalling toll that government coronavirus rules are taking on lung cancer patients. Lung cancer referrals fell by seventy five percent in spring. At least one third of patients with lung cancer have already died since the outbreak began. And according to Professor David Baldwin, a respiratory medicine consultant, this is likely an underestimate as some deaths will not have been recognized as lung cancer and may have been even been labeled as COVID-19. What this all boils down to, according to the report, is an additional 1,372 deaths due to lung cancer. <laughs> right, and we were saying that more people die at home from cancer, heart disease, and dementia in the UK since start of COVID-19 pandemic. Mm. Right, so what they're initially saying is that they're so focused on this COVID-19 that everyone else is dying from the other things. All right, they're dying and they've been put at high risk, you know, due to them not being treated and things being locked down. All right. But further, they have also been mentioned that uh, this COVID-19, uh, COVID a lot of people has been misdiagnosed, okay? Just to continue to spike up the COVID-19 COVID uh, toll, all right? Whether it be a death toll or whether it be, you know, uh, a person that uh, contracted it. It says, and see, this is what you're going to get from the devil, all right? Let's see, it says, let's get this scripture. Because ultimately, this, this, this is Esau, Job 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies, and you are all physicians of no value. Okay, so let's go into this word. Forger, it says, a person who produces fraudulent copies or imitations this is this is Eve, one that forges metals, right? And we're going to pass that one to this: a person who falsifies, especially a creator of false tales, a person guilty of forgery, right? And this is Eve all day, okay? Because he is the one who falsifies things, right? And he is the one that's the creator of false tales. He is the one. That pushes the narrative, you know, and, and of all the all his media outlets because he owns all these things that push the narrative he wants to push. Right. So you have all these different deaths happening all across the world. Like it says, lung disease, dementia, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just throw some out there, uh, car accidents, boating accidents, you know, things like that. All right. Flus. Okay. 
But since E is pushing this, you know, agenda behind us, this whole COVID-19 pandemic, that's the narrative he's going to continue to push. Okay? And, you know, anything you type in, you know, you type in CO, you know, just to might try to look up some cookies, just use an example. What pops up first? COVID-19. All right? You try to type in a, the player of, uh, of your, uh, you know, if your favorite player in the NFL got the got number 19, what's going to pop up? Cover 19. <laughs> you know, I'm being funny, right? But this is how it is when he pushes this narrative. narrative. Okay, and he has the means to do all this. So it says a person guilty of forgery. And E, you are guilty. All right? Let's continue on. It says... Totally foreseeable circumstances, harrowing as these figures are, none of them, none of them can come with as any surprise. <sighs> Excuse me. Many experts warn and continue to warn of exactly these consequences. Anyone with a brain in their head foresaw that strangling all health care in order to fight one relatively mild respiratory disease will cause a lot of needless pain, needless deaths, Salah. Anyone with a heart wonder why a covet sufferer's life was apparently worth so much more than anyone else's? One former national cancer director told the report, see, see how he's making their, them, their tongues fall upon themselves? That because cough, because cough is a symptom of both covet and lung cancer, potential lung cancer sufferers were told to stay at home in case they had covet. Oh, oh, oh. just let that sink in for a moment. Are doctors, consultants who or whoever made the, those decisions really that incompetent? I hope so, because the alter, alternative is far more sinister. All right. Tip of the iceberg. If you can manage it, there has been another important report. This one by a union of lung cancer nurses. When surveyed, 61% of them said they would normally expect to see more new patients presenting with lung cancer if they are right. And I see no reason to doubt these diligent specialists. It is a massive red flag. There can be only one possible explanation for such a drop off, which is that people who should be receiving lung cancer diagnosis are not. This means that a tsunami of late cancer diagnosis is on its way to the UK. All right. So you see, all right, the, the point I was saying is, you know, they're, they're pushing they're putting so much energy forth behind this cover 19 that they are letting people die that have a more a far more worse disease such as lung cancer okay and see this is what happens and e by any means needs to push his narrative okay you people that have a, a far you know more uh detrimental uh, health issue are just are just being a sacrifice you know, just a sacrifice, you know, to ease agenda, you know, uh, or not, not not saying that, you know, he, he's using you as a sacrifice in his, in his role as agenda. But you're just out there, you know, and you got your life has to be sacrificed, you know, just to push his greater good. If that makes any sense. So, you know, I didn't get too many scriptures, Lord willing. I just wanted to touch on a few things on this article. Um. You can find it at rt.com. Lord willing, I hope it was edifying. So the next time of a news update, I want to say shalom.